Hello and welcome to episode 19 of the Gaming Podcast. I'm Duncan and I'm here with Tom. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Um, How are you doing? I'm all good. How has your week been? Good. Can't complain. Yeah. How has your yeah, gaming it's... week been? Um, quite good. Had a, a an exciting experience, which I'll go into a little bit later. Um, is it is it suitable for children? Yes. <laughs> yes, fortunately. Um, it, and it was my son's twelfth uh, birthday, so there was some oh, happy birthday. Fun. Tom's 12-year-old son. Yeah. So we had uh, some bit of gaming on the go there. So that was good. Um, so, yeah, it's been a good week. And yourself? Well, yes. Um, well, um, after your recommendation last week, I've been playing uh, uh, I don't, Axley or Axel A. I, Axley. I, I, Axley. It sounds yeah. like he's got an axe and you're slaying somebody. But um, it's a shoot em up is it? And it is. It has two sort of modes. It has a... Like a, a um, you know, a parallax kind of space harrier kind of mode, yeah. which for me was the weaker part. Uh, it didn't, mm-hmm. didn't work as well, but then it has got a side scrolling one, which works really well because you have up to three different types of weapons that you can pick any t- between them at any time. Yeah. So there are certain ones that things that surround you or attack you at certain times, and there's a bullet that shoots around you and, mm-hmm. and then there's basic ones that shoot forward yeah the side scroll was really good and yeah like i think like you said last week there's big enemies um yeah so as shoot looks good goes pretty good pretty and good did you, um, did you beat well, the game? well once i remembered i was playing it via emulation i realized i could do save states so yeah i'm, I'm on about level five now but originally <laughs> originally i think i got to level two just um, it's just. a hard game it is really hard i mean yeah i i suck a bit so <laughs> i was i remember i had r type on the spectrum you know this is probably yeah 35 years ago and i don't think i got anywhere past the beginning of the second level it's about no, where i'm at <laughs> yeah so yeah I, the fact that now i can just go on youtube and look at uh, how the rest of that game looks is amazing because uh yeah. Yeah, um, never got to see anywhere past that. But no, I, as I said, level five. Um, so it does it where it's a space area type level, side scrolling level, and you can pick different weapons between each other. Yeah, so it was, it was good fun. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it was worthy of the high rating, although for me, the space area style levels uh, are, are the weak part. Um, yeah. The, not, not as an interesting uh, ending to the game when you complete it. So. Ooh. Not what you'd expect. Uh, is it like when one where like with Double Dragon where you have to fight yourself or something? <laughs> no. But yeah, definitely uh, the the app the what's the outro screens is where where we're at and, and that's quite unexpected. Yeah. So, well I shall keep yeah. going then. Or, Let me know when you get there. <laughs> or I shall just go on YouTube. I will try and complete it though, if it gets too hard. Because I uh, although I've cheesed it a bit by doing save states i haven't entirely gone it where i haven't been touched so i have lost some lives um, so never happen you'll always get touched it's like contra you're yeah. always going to get killed yeah they're, they're, all, they're always hard yes mm. there are some bits where i had to load the state i don't if anyone doesn't know on emulation quite often you can press one button and you save exactly where you are in in that state precisely you don't have to have a save point or anything like that you can just save anywhere you want and it's it's a great way if you're if there's quite a long time between save points or between levels like this game where you've got a level that might take five six minutes to complete um yeah it's a lot easier to get to the end of the level as you see Um, as you see the bullet coming towards you save state Yes, you do. You do run the risk of that. Although, although um, they do generally have multiple save states, but it's quite difficult to use them on a on a handheld. Um, That was one of the downsides of the mini consoles. You could rewind the game. 
Okay. I didn't like that. Don't use it then. <laughs> <laughs> is that? I mean, there is. No, I mean, Forza. You know, I, this is why the Forza games, single player, are very easy because all you got to do is go. Oh, didn't didn't like that uh, corner. That I didn't go very fast out that corner. I'll just rewind. Mm. Um, yeah, you know, and obviously purists will say, "Oh no, you can't, you, you can't use that." But yeah, I use that a lot. <laughs> I, I have no problem with the fact that I play things on easy, and and yeah, if I find a way of doing something quite easily for the sake of story, most of the time, I will do it. Um, and I'm wait too. I'm playing that on easy, which means yeah. I have loads of ammo and we weapons and all that kind of thing. Um, so I, I, I think I've got trailed off a bit there. I don't, I don't know. We were talking about Axley, weren't we? Axley. Now suddenly talking yes. about gone back to Adam Wake too. Um, can't help yourself. <laughs> can't help yourself. No, He's just looking for a sponsorship. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, if, oh, if Remedy want to, you know, send us. I think they've got a, a multiplayer shooter in the works or something that they've announced is still, or it was going to be free to play. Was that their one? And oh, now no. it's going to be a multiplayer. I, I don't know, but they have some kind of multiplayer shooter in the works. Um. How that will work, I don't know. Will it be in the Control and Alan Wake universe? The Remedy MCU I version? Uh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, hey, send us a code. We'll help you test it. Um, yeah, other, other than Axley, what I have been playing at Alan Wake 2, I got quite far in that. There was a section in it where, um, and this isn't a spoilery thing, uh, you basically have, you go through with loads of video panels around you and it's a musical with some of the oh. characters on video screens dancing and singing but it's like a rock proper rock uh musical and it was awesome absolutely amazing um and i, I posted about it on a group and on the game Dance group and loads of other people came out saying wasn't that amazing it's so good mm. um so yeah it's if, if people want to get to it it's uh when you get to control either either of the main two characters, uh, choose Alan Wake, and pretty much straight away you'll you'll get that level. Ah, oh, it's superb. Um, if people want to experience the music, if you go on Spotify, there is actually a, an Alan Wake Two official um, uh, playlist that has the songs on it. No. But I I. I haven't checked over the lyrics. The lyrics might be a bit spoilery, so probably don't look at them. Don't, don't listen to them. Um, Caution. Caution. Although I think I think it also maybe explains a bit of the the Alan Wake universe. Mm. But yeah, it's so good, so good. I, and I wish I could play that level again. But obviously, once you've done it, uh, can't rewind. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't rewind in modern games. No, mm. no. Um, that's what we were talking about. Save states, wasn't it? Yeah. We were. So we were. um we're talking about devices and things you can play things on. I was very, very lucky this past week to get a a go, a hands-on go at the Vision Pro, the Apple headset that's coming out next year. Ooh. Um how and where I won't mention. Um, but I was yeah, it's uh it's definitely worth I thought I saw Tim Cook in, in Essex the other day, yeah. <laughs> he was on the end of the pier fishing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with a couple of donuts. Um, <laughs> and that's just the alcoholics. Um, but he, um, yeah, the, how can I describe the headset? It's uh, it's comfy. It's really well balanced. Um, so is, it, is this a, a developer, like... Yeah, op, op, yeah. Machine is it different to the end user machine or machine or uh, headset? I, I, I don't. I don't know. I can't I, say. I suppose it's probably unknown, isn't it? But uh, I've got to be a bit careful here. Yeah. I can't say. Was it? Was it heavy? Was it heavy? Like I was told. I mean, was you you have a quest two. I was told it was heavier than the retail unit. Okay. What about so, compared to the quest two that you have? No, I'd say lighter than that. Lighter than that, excellent. Lighter well, it does. That. I mean, the the obviously the units that they've showed off, they they don't look as as big as as the. Uh, it doesn't have as a battery. In it. Of course, big. yes, you have you have that in your pocket, don't you? Or something yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. And to describe it, you 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 put the headset on and and you see your surroundings. So, 
for instance, I'm now in my in my open plan lounge and lounge diner kitchen. So I would see everything around me in I would say almost 8k, uh, maybe more. And then you get your menu. So, so you see the so you see that through cameras. You don't just see it's not through glass or anything. No, no. it's through cameras. Oh, well. And then your menu pops up and your menu is almost free floating and you can then have the menu. You can you can change where the menu is positioned um, and then you you kind of look at the menu, at the, at the item you want to select and it just knows. Oh, so it's got eye tracking. Okay. Yeah, but this is not eye tracking as in MetaQuest eye tracking. This is eye tracking on a whole nother level and I'm not. A big apple fan you know me i like my ipad that's about <laughs> it. we were discussing this before the podcast you look at the app it selects the app now you go into this mode where you're surrounded by these different scenes these themes and one of them was a lake and everything's moving it looks like you're there and then you can pull up this 150 inch maybe more screen that's in like four, uh, 8k i think maybe maybe even more um and then you can play Game Pass on it, or you can watch a movie, or you can, <coughs> I don't know. So, but then there's also these other apps where you can, you can do your work on it. You can work from the app. This, this, this particular unit had a, a app that was being developed that allowed you to access Microsoft apps. Mm -hmm. directly through some I, I don't know how it works well i think um, microsoft would yeah they'd, they'd definitely be getting in there although they do have their own mixed reality headset obviously but the there's more yeah. enterprise uh, <laughs> based uh, it than, definitely knocks the socks but, off the hololens <laughs> so but yeah fan, fantastic um i i yeah, think I, I think we, we we discussed earlier that i mean apple products are not bad products we just don't like the ecosystem. I think it needs um, to be opened up. Yeah, and and yeah, I think this it'll be a great it'll be a, a great headset. Mm -hmm. But equally, I could get a decent second hand car for three and a half thousand um, pounds. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many pounds it is. It's three and a half thousand dollars. Just to clarify, we don't know. I don't think we know the price in the UK yet. Do I we? think it's pretty much the same. It's because, it's pretty much yeah. a if it costs a pound, it costs a dollar. Yeah, um, and vice versa. So so yeah, I, I, I'm never going to buy one. I'm personally, if, if someone but wants if somebody to wanted to send one to me and get me to <laughs> review it, I would. Yeah, I would absolutely love it, and I would sit there in my room here, playing playing Xbox. Oh, down yes. the pier and have a ch chat if with Tim, Tim. If Tim's down the end of the pier, I'm having a can of special <laughs> brew. I'll uh... <laughs> just see him now. Oh, can you just imagine, imagine Tim, Tim Cook with a can of special brew down the end of the pier. Of the pier. <laughs> yeah. Surrounded uh, by a bunch of hoodies. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, get an iPhone, Tim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, couldn't possibly begin to do a text and accent. Yeah. Here's the important thing for them: not only if you, let's say, you bought one, would it make you then? Would you be tempted to buy an iPhone so that it worked well with the yeah Vision Pro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it is a game changing device in in your eyes. It it is but personally leaps and bounds ahead of all of the vr headsets that are on the market now including those that 12 12k um oh, the enterprise all, kind of models yeah, yeah uh, this, this knocks the socks off all of those from what i've seen and if someone said to me here's three and a half grand you had no you've got no other things to pay off you can freely spend the three and a half grand then yes i would get one but being a dad of three with a mortgage and cost of living no yeah yeah it's 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 definitely a, a luxury item but it's it's also their first one and i think yeah. we were saying as well this this will open up the floodgates for higher quality devices because if let's say i don't know let's say lenovo decide to bring out something that has similar specs but you know isn't Apple and I don't know works with whatever software, whether that be 
a future version of Android that works with this kind of thing or mm. a Windows thing or whatever, um, then theirs would cost £2,000. Mm. And then you're going to have Chinese knockoffs that cost £1,000. And then those ones in two years after they come out are going to cost fifteen hundred pounds and five hundred pounds and then eventually you're gonna have whether it's meta making it or or microsoft um are going to be bringing out devices sub one thousand pounds sub one thousand dollars or whatever or inflation's going to meet prices go up you know prices yeah are the same kind of thing but we can afford them uh and so yeah so i i i think it's a good thing I, I, but I think it'll advance the industry, yeah, considerably very quickly. But I, I it's not okay. I it's, it's, I it's don't a toy. It it's a toy. Well. Yeah, I don't foresee it's 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 a yuppie toy, and I don't I don't foresee it selling millions and millions of units. But no. it is something that I would quite happily own. But then I feel I would be sucked into the vortex that is the the the, the, the Apple, Apple ecosystem ecosystem and. Yeah, I think the only way for Apple to go beyond beyond that is to open their devices up to Android. If they open the Apple Watch up to Android, they would literally overtake the entire industry. Let's face it. If if I get a a a pig defecating on me from where it's flying above me, um, I shall then wonder if if Apple are are going to open everything up to Android. Mm. But yeah, as we said earlier, the off air uh the R- rcs is being a, um taken on by apple but they're they're doing it as a sort of oh look you know we're great because we're taking on the the new industry standard um but uh, only so it's like, aren't we great text messaging app now nobody uses text messaging on an apple phone but and, and well it's it i think um the is it the blue blue and green is it blue if you're from texting an apple person and yeah. green if you're getting it from android yeah. and that's still staying apparently yeah um, so essentially you've got they're still one. going look that person's on android yeah yeah you got the 15 <laughs> google related text apps and messaging apps because google can't seem to make their mind up and then you've got apple who have iMessage and their text messaging app so what going back to gaming though, what, what could you see the Vision Pro doing for gaming? Anything or other than having a giant screen in front of you? I think where where Apple's going with this, they're getting like Resident Evil and things working on the iPhones. Mm. And then I think what we'll find is they will they will start to release console orientated quality games for things like you'll have the scale back version for the um iphone the mid-range version for the ipad and then the super size version for apple tv and vision pro oh but how powerful is the processor in that though i mean obviously it's more it well is it more powerful than the iphone pro or uh, yeah the pro max or what i I don't know the naming i think it's like an m2 chip isn't it i think it's it's there with the... is it the full m2 chip that's the same that's in the laptops in I, think the... It's, yeah, I don't know i think it's multi multi chip the max i'm not up on it but... I, I don't i don't know the technicalities of all them but uh, I, but yeah i, I, I can see it gonna get into gaming oh yes the the, the 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 actual playing resident evil has has started i've seen a few reviews and yes they've you know they've all said oh it's only 720p but you're paying 720p on a Fine. So, who cares? Um, if you get into gaming, apparently the battery it, it absolutely rinses the battery if you yeah. turn on um, if you turn on certain bells and whistles. And also, um, that I saw a, a line of tech tips used a, a heat camera, and they were like, "Wow!" And yeah. apparently, they couldn't. They literally couldn't hold the phone. Because it was, they were like, "Oh, that's there. Uh, nope, that's a bit toasty." <laughs> yeah, I think if Apple get into gaming and do it right, I think we will see uh, a change to the console market quite quickly. What is in? Do you think making their own games, or do you think just the hardware? I think they all do what Microsoft have done with Game Pass, 
and bring a lot of high quality titles to Apple. Well, they already do Apple Arcade. Can you see things like um, maybe Resident Evil Village or whichever one it is uh, yeah. coming to coming to Apple Arcade? Yeah, I, th- I think in Apple's game plan. And I don't think Apple has a game plan anymore. I think they've lost that since Ives has left and Jobs has passed. But I do think their multi, the, the spectrum of things they're planning is going to be getting into gaming and and removing either Nintendo or Microsoft out of the out of the out of their way. I can't Ooh. see them ever lifting PlayStation out of the way. Nintendo have already made it clear they're not going to sell. Um, so Microsoft are moving into streaming only. Let's face it; we know that's coming. Yeah, so, they're, they're not. To say they're not bothered about devices is wrong. I think they, they are. They want to sell it, but the fact is, if they get enough people signed up to Game Pass, um, which at the moment there's so many people using, I've, I've said there's so many people using um, the cloud that generally you have to wait nowadays. I think there'll be a two tier uh, streaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, like game streaming coming out soon i think there'll be a a game pass ultimate premium or something like that where you pay an extra i don't know two or three pounds a month um and you you get priority queue but geforce now geforce now you can you can have the free for an hour you can pay or you can pay to be first in the queue or you can Um, pay for free on an apple device via geforce now yeah (laughs) <laughs> so yeah, so um, yeah, I, I think that's Microsoft are too are too big to and you know if if Microsoft did go oh we're losing the money hand over fist and we're not selling anything blah 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 they'll just go yeah whatever we'll take the hit I can't see I can't see Microsoft releasing another physical console oh no I, I I think they will but I think like like you just said that they will look at streaming i think that is heavily what they're doing for the last two Um, generations they've been destroyed by playstation and nintendo yeah i mean nintendo uh their first party is what sells for them um they have obviously with microsoft um shown that they want to have things like call of duty and all your 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 adult games on there so to speak because a lot of their first parties um but uh, Sony just for me, just they they still do these things where they're they're like oh they're they're stuck in the two thousands of the you know keeping this and separate and uh, yeah mm. I, I don't know how to explain it um, <laughs> yeah I mean that Microsoft are obviously buying up a lot of a lot of developers but. Yeah, PlayStation have already already done that. That's why they've had ex- uh, some of the ex- exclusives. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I I just think that all it takes is one little slip up. Like with mm. the PlayStation, the reason why the PlayStation Three was behind the Xbox, I think originally, was because of the price, and that was literally it it was the playstation 3 was really expensive people bought the cheaper xbox 360 and they had exclusives like you know your gears of war your halo and that kind of thing um and all it takes is for sony or nintendo i mean if nintendo brings out another virtual boy um then, then you know they'll they they'll mess themselves up uh yeah i, I don't know Oh, what no, sold but, the most? Was it the Xbox or was it the PlayStation 3? What sold the most? Um, mm. I, I think initially it was most definitely the Xbox 360. I mean, I, th- I think most people would agree that Xbox Xbox won the 360 and PS3 generation, but PlayStation 4 absolutely destroyed them because they came out with all the TV stuff. Mm. Um, and it came with Connect, which meant the Xbox One, again, which they didn't learn from PlayStation's mistake in that in that that they brought out a really expensive console and people didn't buy it because they didn't want to connect and they didn't want to pay that much money um you know so they then got rid of the connect and people started buying the xbox one but by that point playstation 4 was miles ahead um and that's just carried on now that the the general consensus is 
each generation should play the previous generation, whereas before that was a sort of mm, sometimes we will, sometimes we won't, um, most of the time wouldn't. Um, that's meant that that's carried on for this generation. Uh, people are like, oh, PlayStation Four. I've got, I've, I'll get the PlayStation Five because I can play my games. And yeah. equally, I've, I've got an Xbox because I've got probably six hundred games on Xbox. So if I go to PlayStation, I could, I'd, I'd have a paperweight. Not, so, uh, it's perfectly fine piece of kit, but it would be a glorified paperweight for me because I'd still be playing Game Pass or games that I own on Xbox. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to find what the Xbox 360 sells. So it was 87, 87.4 million global sales. Okay. And, oh, no, sorry. 85.73 million global sales. PlayStation 3 was 87.4. So, so pretty much the same. Yeah, a few million in it. So, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm looking on, on Wikipedia, yeah, and it's there's literally, yeah, the PlayStation 3 has overtaken it, yeah. Um, and then, and then, you know, you've got to remember that the, the Xbox 360, so you know, probably outsold the PlayStation 3 in some, in some places, but like mm. in Japan, the Xbox 360, yeah, you could count on your fingers how many it sold. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it all, it all depends on where you are, and that's yeah, it, definitely. Know. It's all good though. I, I, I like, I, I may be an Xbox owner, but I own a Steam Deck, I have owned a PC, uh, good enough to play. And, and do you know what? I see the, the exclusives like Spider Man 2 that's come out recently, mm. um, and the Final Fantasy 7 second part of the uh remake. Coming out and yeah, it's like, hey, that's fantastic. That's great, great gaming. I love people getting to get into gaming. That's just yes, I love games. Interesting note here: the Virtual Boy sold seventy-seven thousand copies. <laughs> so, whereas the Genesis Nomad, the portable Mega Drive, sold one million units. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm just look at so some of them are. Uh, some of the things are a rough, rough estimates, but um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, some of these, I mean, even the Engage, the the Nokia yeah, one, I sold think. three million. Mm. That's three million disappointed people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we don't. I mean, I mean, the thing <laughs> is, I mean, people say that, that yeah, well, people will still say that the Quest Two is uh, a niche product. But it's sold more than the Wii U, the PlayStation Vita, the Master System, the Game Gear, you know, the Dreamcast, um, all these kind of things. Even the original Xbox, oh yeah, only sold a couple of million more than the Quest Two. Yeah. So, and why yeah. is that? Is that because of cheap? Well, originally cheap games, which are throwaway, or is it because now we're well, looking premium games for like thirty, forty quid on the on the Quest? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I think now you're getting more people developing for it. So, yeah, originally it was, there are a lot of experiences on it. That's the problem. You have to mm -hmm. find, you have to find the things that aren't, well, let's face it, rubbish. Um, or, or very short, you know, something like, oh, look, this is something you show your gran. Here, gran, put this on. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, video your gran falling over. And, mm -hmm. and there you go. Um the, the Quest 2, though, now people are hearing about Beat Saber. They're hearing about the Star Wars experiences. They're hearing mm. about the ta Tabor, the, the something of Tabor. Um, oh, oh, it's, nice. it's, a, it's like a it's like a Tarkov style game that's you know very brutal. Uh, PUBG. Oh, Ghost, Ghost of Tabor. Ghost of Tabor. That's the one. Mm. Um, which is getting very popular and yeah yeah so it really good yeah well we shall see what happens with the quest 3 and the uh yes. well there's quite a few different headsets coming out now um before the vision pro so we'll see we've we digressed again haven't we as always <laughs> as always 
Um, so we well, shall, shall we go? On? We were going to say about um, the awards. It's like the awards season in yes. gaming, wasn't it? So there were there was two. There's two main awards that have been out. There's one that's actually the winners have been announced, um, and there's one where the nominees are there, and you can still vote, uh, like because it is ten percent public. So the first one was the Golden Joystick Awards. Now this is entirely. Um, public voted uh so personally i think that means you can take it with a pinch of salt <laughs> <laughs> uh but it's it's a it's a good indication it's like metacritic isn't it it's a good indication um the the big ones the big winner was Baldur's gate 3 uh, Baldur's gate 3 got best storytelling best visual design uh studio of the year for larian uh, best game community, uh, PC game of the year, and ultimate game of the year, um, and oh, and best supporting performer for Neil Newborn, which I believe is the vampire guy. Oh my god, I've forgotten his name. Uh, anyway, yeah, so <laughs> so won quite a few. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's no doubt there was a couple of surprises. We were saying the best multiplayer game was Mortal Kombat One. Which yeah. I think by the time this was voted for, it'd probably been out been out a couple of days, a week or I didn't something. Get that one. I didn't and get that it, it had a lot of problems with it, didn't it? Technical problems. And also, what I've not decided, and I've not played it. So if you have, you'd be able to answer this. Is it just the original Mortal Kombat, but rehashed? And um, I. I I don't know why they've called it Mortal Kombat 1. It's basically, what is it, Mortal Kombat 12? Um, and it's probably a bit like they're doing with a lot of these games now, is they're bringing out a base game hmm. so that they can then add all the things, as whether that's pay DLC, free DLC, I, I don't know. Um, I, I mean, personally, I there's a Mortal Kombat on Game Pass, and I really don't see the point in playing paying for this one over playing for that I'd one. I'd rather have Mortal Kombat 3, the the original ones from the Super yeah, Nintendo. I mean, I, 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 I've got the original one on, on a, uh, a Mega Drive Genesis uh, emulator. And mm. yeah, fantastic game. Yeah. With uh, the uh, Liu Kang with his kicking <laughs> thing. Um, fantastic game. Um, that noise could have been taken any other way. You do really <laughs> people take a clip out, and uh, yeah, so an interesting um, one best gaming hardware PSVR2. Yes, yes, so and not, there's not VR impressive. on there, and there's there's yeah. there's the the VR game of the year, wasn't there? Uh, uh Resident Evil was Horizon, no, Horizon Call of the Mountain. So basically, and this is the problem, you yes, see, yes, yes, yes. You, you've got. You've got a publicly voted one. It's going to be the biggest selling uh, hardware. So you've got Horizon Call of the Mountain. Now, the Quest 2 probably does have more uh, owners than the PSVR 2. Mm. Um, so don't know what that is. But they, they do have, as we said, uh, talked off air, they do have Nintendo Game of the Year, PC Game of the Year, Xbox Game of the Year, which was Legends of Zelda, Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield for anyone wanting to know. On oh, PlayStation Game of the Year, I think we were both surprised by this, Resident Evil 4, yeah. which great game, but, but you've, really? you've had Baldur's Gate 3, you've had you know some other games that I can't quite recall right now, but, um, but yeah, no, no, a great game, but yeah, a bit of a surprise there. Yeah, um, Horizon Call of the Mountain. I can see that being a great VR game for the PlayStation VR, yeah. but it's not out on any other VR. So, but then there are so many other games out on on, on VR platforms. I, I mean, know. Horizon Call of the Mountain is I've I've I haven't played it, but um, very good. Apparently, reviews of it have said that it's it's a beautiful VR game, mm. and it plays very well. Um, and let's face it, the only VR game that will probably stand up to that um, that I can recall is Alex, uh, Half-Life Alex, which came out not this year. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, it's a 
Yeah, it's a discussion point that it's a PlayStation VR game. I think. And Legends of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, the sequel to the um, oh, what was it called? Breath the of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. That's the one, which was originally a Wii U game, uh, which was improved for the Switch. Well, but... I'm afraid that the, there wasn't a Wii U section. I'm afraid for this no, year. The sorry, Game Martin. Joystick Awards. Sorry, Martin. Yes. So... Um, obviously, it would be yes. It would be probably Breath of the Wild if there mm. was. Probably Outstanding every, game. Every year for the last seven years or whatever, whenever Breath <laughs> yeah, of the Wild came that out. That Mario Kart one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so th- I think most other, there wasn't really any surprises. Still playing Award No Man's Sky, which again, it's got it's really good support. So things have been added all the time. Major updates. Uh, best indie game, Sea of Stars, which I have actually started on it's on game pass um mm-hmm. it's like a pixel rpg uh you know you sort of final fantasy style uh turn-based combat um yeah but Baldur's gate 3 the the big winner so and then before, we've got before duncan before you bring it up let me just say it and, and don't get upset that i've said it pretty choice award was alan wake 2 yes critics see the we, one that isn't actually it's Duncan by loves the public. Yeah, Alan Wake game, 2. It? <laughs> it is is fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic game. <laughs> and it's the only one chosen by critics. Um I can uh, I can I can see that Alan Wake 2 would yeah, if there were if this had been done a couple of months later, um then Alan Wake 2 might have popped up on a couple of those yeah, best audio cuz from that one uh, visual design, and uh, you know, it's a really beautiful game and um, good setting and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, and well, also for the next award performance. <laughs> you got the performers here, the lead performers, supporting performers. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was the Golden Joystick Awards. As I said, hundred. I think other than the Critic Award, hundred percent voted for by the public. Now the next one we looked it up is ninety percent critic uh, or you know, professional members and 10% uh, public voted. So you can actually vote for this. It's the Game Awards. And I think it's something like thegameawards.com. I think as this episode comes out, you can still vote for them. Um, and then Game of the Year straight away. They've got Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Spider Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and Tears of the Kingdom. So have you got, have you got a pick from there? I'm, I'm going to say probably Mario. Yeah, yeah. Have, you, have 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 you? How many of those six have you actually physically played? What's the list again? Uh, Alan Wake Two, Baldur's Gate Three, Spider Man Two, Resident Evil Four, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and the Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. So I played Spider Man Two. I played Resident Evil. I played. Uh, Zelda and Super Mario, so I am definitely going to so, say. So the two that I've well, actually no, I've played three of those, but two that I've mainly played are the two that you haven't played. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so we 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 fulfil all the you know, we, we can give opinions on all of them. I would Personally, say graphically, Spider Man Two is is up there. Yeah, graphically, I think I'd probably go with either Alan Wake Two or Spider Man. Um, mm-hmm. Spider Man looks gorgeous uh, but then alan wake although most of it is in dark places that scare you um uh it is a beautiful game it's very mm. good looking um, i think but, but Super Baldur's Mario Bros. wanda is Baldur's gate 3 is very very good looking as well yeah, i think super mario is definitely the most inventive super mario game in many many years yeah i, I still stick by the fact that I, it's it's taken a lot of um, influence from Rayman Legends and Rayman Origins. Mm-hmm. I, I still think that, um, but fantastic game, and I'm loving it. I'm I'm playing through it still. I'm loving mm. it. Uh, for game of the year, though, I would probably go for Baldur's Gate three personally. Um, just the 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 freedom in it. And that's the main thing in it. It's the freedom to do what you want. Is just yeah. amazing. Absolutely amazing. The, and it's. It's all the way it's scripted and the way the game works. It it just feels like it's 
taken somebody 50 years to write every opportunity, every you know possible outcome. And it's yeah, just fantastic. I highly recommend it for anybody. But what what would you pick in terms of game of the year? Um, yeah, uh, again, I'm going to go with either Spider Man or Mario. So that's my. Uh, that's not picking one though. That's not Mario. picking one, is it? Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would probably put. I would probably if I was to do a top three, it'd probably be Baldur's Gate three. Animate 2 and Mario Brothers, only because I haven't played Spider-Man 2. Um, I've tried Tears of the Kingdom. It's not for me. Um, Resident Evil 4, I'm, I'm sure it's great. I just... We've been yeah. there before. Yeah, been there, done that. But then same with Spider-Man. I mean, graphically, it's amazing. But actually, you could go and get the original Spider-Man game or you could get... Um, Miles, Morales. Miles Morales. Yeah. You could even and and I can get that on the Steam Deck. Yeah, you can always uh, even go back as far as the Spider-Man games on the PlayStation 2. There you go. It's web-slinging. It's the same. It's just yes, graphics. Yes. It's just, I remember it being quite low frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but generally, a lot of the other, you've got best game direction. You've got pretty much the same. Uh, you've got five. Yeah, other than yeah, it's the same list, just without Resident Evil 4. Um you know, Super Mario, Alan Wake Two, Baldur's Gate Three are in m- most of the of the categories. Best score of music is Alan Wake Two, Baldur's Gate Three, Legend of Zelda. Um, you know, best, best mobile game that one's has got Alan Wake Two, Baldur's Gate Three, Spider Man. Uh, Games for Impact uh, is is definitely not any of them. Uh, I think that's basically ones that bring a social commentary. Um, best community support, Baldur's Gate 3, um, and whatnot. So, yeah, so they they are, the, yeah, best VR, oh yeah, best VR game, Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, which is a game that me and you both yeah, loved, yeah. basically Snaps. lemmings with people. <laughs> yeah. Snaps. Horizon, Call of the Mountain there again, Resident Evil Village VR mode, and Synapse, or Synapse, mm. whatever you have you heard of that one? I call it Synapsis, but I might be wrong. <laughs> really uh, but, good game. Really good game. Yeah, what 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 is what is that? Oh, hang on, bear with me. Have you played it? I have, but only once. So okay. it would be I'd be hard pushed to give you a good description of oh, it. Okay. But they've yeah. they uh best action game, Armored Core, Dead Island 2, Ghost Runner 2, Hi-Fi Rush, and Remnant 2. Any of those that you've played? No. I have not played any except for Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush, I couldn't get the hang of it. It was because it's an action game, but it rewards you for doing things in, in time with the beat and the music. Yeah. And I, I just I, I couldn't get the hang of it. So that wasn't for me. And all the rest of them, Armored Core is another Souls born, but with mix and so that's not for me dead island 2 uh again i I liked dead island 1 but it has a weapon when weapons run out uh so and i can't stand that mechanic i I, I really hate it where you make a weapon do you know what weapons do not just generally wear out okay you might smack a hammer over somebody's head and it might break so there should be a chance of that but generally do you know what a hammer doesn't wear out <laughs> i can yeah. smack it in somebody's in a zombie's head and it doesn't wear out so stop putting that oh i hate it i hate that and the good thing about playing on pc though is that generally you can get mods that get rid of that yeah. uh, durability that's the word i'm looking for i hate it i hate the durability i've just found a okay. really good two-line description of synapsis on the playstation playstation vr2 okay and it describes oh, it's on it psvr as, is it yeah it describes it as a dual wield brutal firepower and surging telekinesis in the ultimate mind-breaking vr shooter become a mind-breaking operative and evade the twisted subconscious of a notorious and then it doesn't tell me any more than that so whatever that is um 
of the notorious what? What? I, I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to go find out. One second. But, um, <laughs> well, uh, best, uh, yeah, action adventure. Yeah, you got best RPG. Let's face it, best RPG is going to be Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. Um, you've got some great games there Starfield, Sea of Stars, Liza P, Final Fantasy. Uh, the best action adventure. Oh, you know, that's a difficult one. You've got Alan Wake 2, Spider Man 2, Resident Evil 4 in there. And Legends of Zelda. It's got to be Legends uh, of Zelda. See now, best action adventure game is Legends of Zelda and R- Zelda. I don't, Zelda, an RPG, or is it an action game? No, it's an action game. Oh. That's fine. I, I, that was an, an actual question. <laughs> best um, fighting game. I like this one. <laughs> well. <clears throat> I mean, basically, let's face it, that's between Mortal Kombat 1 and Street Fighter 6. It's got to be Street Fighter 6. I wouldn't well, know. I haven't played either. <laughs> In terms of going back to the history, yes, I preferred Street Fighter 2 to Mortal Kombat. Which but is Mortal Kombat was great fun. <laughs> but they all pale in, in significance to Soul Calibur 2. So, you know. <sighs> Duncan. Dude, no. Oh, okay. what, are, you a, are, you, are you a Tekken person? I am a Street Fighter Two person and oh. a Tekken Three. Tekken Three. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love Street Fighter Two. I loved the Tekken Three and Tekken Tag Tournament was my favourite. Yeah, to get. Oh, just remember getting that and playing that for. Hours and hours and hours and hours. Doing the uh, Capiero. Oh, yes. Um, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, but he he was your cheesy a cheese character, wasn't he? He was the one that you could give to somebody who went, I don't know how to play this. You go, pick him and just bash the buttons. And they go, <laughs> boom, 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 And they'd absolutely wipe the floor with you. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of ways you, know, you could just guarantee. All you do is just, yeah, you just have to... Re- Repost at the right time, um, but but generally, yeah, he he was the uh, he was the cheesing character. Mm-hmm. Um, what else we got? I mean, there's, there's so many character uh, sections for this awards for the game awards. Um, multi best multiplayer still Baldur's Gate three is on there. Yes, um, winning this year and Super it? Mario Brothers Wonder. Mm. So basically, I think the the game awards and the game joystick awards are should basically this year be called the Alan Wake Two, Spider Man Two, uh, Baldur's Gate Three, Resident Evil Four, and the little Super, sequel from Super Mario, Super Mario Wonders <laughs> Awards, because that's that's going to be, other than your your occasional different uh thing like best best debut indie game there's some fantastic games there cocoon which i think i've posted on our facebook i haven't played that yet it's a it's a mind-bending but really satisfying puzzle game mm. uh dredge which i haven't played but apparently a lot of people absolutely love pizza tower which is um <laughs> i've i actually have uh i had a a post on a, a, the group, the, the gaming dads group, and basically a, a load of dads was t- saying how that was great for their sons who had ADHD. Oh wow! <laughs> um, it's it's a, a very fast paced platformer game, um, and and all the dads were like, "Oh no, my, my eyes just can't take it because it's very bright, very fast, but it's got really good reviews." Um, mm. So P- Pizza Tower, yeah. Uh, it's yeah, a Steam game. It's a PC game, so that would be for the Steam Deck. Uh, Venba, that's that's on Game Pass, I believe. That's the one with the South Asian family, I think. I haven't Not played yet. that one yet. Nope. And Viewfinder, I don't know that. That sounds like it'd be something. I bet that's going to be a scary game. So, um, Duncan, if we yes. had the Duncan Gaming Awards... For this year? No. Overall, all time greatest Ooh. ever game, and you could only pick one. What would it be? Actually, no, I'll go easy on it. Three, three Ooh. best games of all time, any system, any era. 
Now, I mean, I've, it's very hard because there's there's games I've played for many hours, many many hours um, that I wouldn't put in probably my top ten. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean GTA Online fantastic and if there was the ability to play online it is it's got infinite possibilities um and people are so creative with things that are, are done uh, but it's again it's only good if you've got good people to play with yeah uh, if you go on a lot of servers you'll just get people doing uh you know aerial uh, bombardments on you and attacking you for no reason and just being idiots um oh blimey so for story and just for length of game, it'll probably be Final Fantasy VII, the original. Okay. I have not played, actually, although I love Final Fantasy VII, I have not played the remake because um, it's square, so they don't reduce their games on PC no. very much. So I just generally haven't bought it. Yeah, and yeah. Um, in terms of... In terms of replayability, I'm going to go with Hitman, as in yep. the, the most recent one, Hitman 3, basically, which mm -hmm. is now called Hitman World of Assassination. Yeah. Um, that is it's just a, a sandbox puzzle game, basically, Hitman. But what other game can you either run around dressed as a clown, slapping people with a fish, or <laughs> be really stealthy and dress up and... and you can role play as as these characters, but you are literally role playing as these characters. You could dress up as a security guard, and if you yeah. stand in the security areas, you're fine. But there are certain people who might go, "You're not a security guard. I know you," because you know whatever. Um, fantastic game, uh, or you can just get a gun, run in, and start shooting people. You know, whatever you want to do, and it's so good, so good. Um, oh, or oh, just then, I don't know. Do you know I, really, I, I don't know about picking a third. I think, yeah, I'll stick with two. Those two, those two, I like those two. I think they, they would desert island discs, they would, uh, they would keep me going for a long time. Mm. <laughs> just to <That's>, us, <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah. There's so many games that are really good though. And, I mean, I've, I've, loved game. I've loved gaming for 40 years and and it's it's such a good time now because the 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 abilities of the hardware that we've got um is is so powerful and the abilities of the games and the in the in-depth nature of the games you know you go back to jet set Willie, it was walk along jump walk yeah. along jump and you'd go on a different screen and you walked along and jumped um that's true but yeah yeah so uh, the the fact that you can have massively in-depth mechanics to a game is just amazing mm. i love gaming <laughs> i don't know if i told you that recently no no you should run a podcast <laughs> <laughs> i should also not drink while uh while we're although we are called a podcast so you know well this is it this is yeah. it so that's um I think we've been we've been chatting for fifty two minutes now. Um, yeah. We were going to talk about arcades, which we will probably now. I think probably wait for another another episode because we have fifty two minutes, pretty long. Because we'll probably still natter for a few minutes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, preview. Any uh, any arcades that? What would be your desert island arcade? Just oh, a preview yeah. of, of another episode. I would say... Are you a Daytona person? <laughs> I do like Daytona. Um, ooh. I'll go backwards on this. Worst game of all time for me <laughs> would be worst... Time Traveller, which is the uh oh, Are we on arcades now or, or arcade just worst game? game? Arcade. Okay, Time yeah. Traveller. I'll give you my top three in a minute for the rest. Um, time Traveller, a 3D holographic game by Sega. It was one of the first ever holographic games. Um, was well, each one of the, one of the holographic games as in sort of that that had just the the wireframe three D kind of thing? Oh no, this was proper holographic. It was 
pretty um, impressive. But the game yeah. is dreadful. Um, <laughs> I would say Robocop Arcade would be uh, one of my second favourites. And I would say probably the original Space Invaders would be my one of my top games. Yeah, going old school. Going old yeah. school. Yeah. But if you want, we were talking about the, uh, for the last few minutes, you're talking about top three games of all time. Yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't ask you. No, no. I what yours thinking, were. Yeah. I, well, do you know, I wasn't even thinking it until I then just said, oh, actually, I should answer mine. So I would say, <laughs> yeah, question. Yeah. I would say third would be Gods of War 3. Interesting one. Uh, okay. Best Is that, was that remaster. PlayStation 3? Uh, well, they've done a remaster, so PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 as well. But, um, oh, yeah. yeah, God of War 3 was just the pinnacle, in my opinion. Um, especially some of the bosses were just amazing. Um, and trying to figure out how to beat them was... That 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 was many walkthrough websites. I um, I play these things on easy, so figuring out to eat, how to beat them is pretty easy for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I would say, how, uh, oh, hang on now. I would say Battle for Middle Earth Two. Oh, Lord that's a Ring PlayStation game. Two. No, it was Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, which oh. was a crap version. Um, but the PC version. Uh, okay. Phenomenal and many a night spent playing. Oh, hang on, games. I'm thinking of Battle for Middle Earth 2. Is, is this one of the action games or the RTS game? The RTS, yeah. Ah, okay, I'll, I'll get so you could have mods, action games, 10,000 fighters, and you know, all sorts of things. And uh, many a night playing multiplayer with a friend of mine, we'd spend four, four hours a night trying to beat each other, stalemate. You know, and that's whatever. what gaming's all about. It's it's not necessarily about the game. It's about the memories. That's the one. And I'd say top game of all time has got to be... It's got to, <laughs> for me, it's got... I would say for me personally, it's Super Mario Kart, the original, on the Super Nintendo. But I think overall, the best game ever made is Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. Which I only completed for the first time this year. There we are. So, and it is a fantastic game. Um, it is. I'd only ever played it and got to about the third level before because I never owned a, a, a device where I sat there and played it for a long time. But yes, it fantastic, fantastic yeah. game. And yeah. for me, yeah, probably, probably, although Super Mario Wonder is fantastic, Super Mario World is, is, for me, probably the, the, the best. Nintendo. I think also what needs an honorary mention Super Nintendo game. is Tetris on the Game Boy original. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, it brings back memories. brings back memories of my mum, who who um, I was a naughty boy when I was a little boy. Um, and <laughs> so, so, my parents, <laughs> so my parents would take off my game, take my Game Boy off me. And so they took my Game Boy off me. And my dad eventually bought my mum an LCD Tetris because... They take the uh, the Game Boy off me, and then the occasional evening, I'd I'd go to bed and I'd hear ding, 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 in in the next room because my mom my mom was a bless her rest in peace she was a she she absolutely loved Tetris yeah absolutely loved it hated other gaming things but um, yeah she had she had a little LCD one in the end can't oh, believe yeah. it. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's just such a simple but classic. Uh, it's one of these ones where, like, you mention it, and I'm just like, oh, wow, yes. Do you know the original game. versions of that game? Well, a... no, I, I do remember that the, the guy who invented it got absolutely nothing from it because um, was, it was yeah. basically the, the Russian or Russian Soviet government. Federation. Yeah. That, he has now. He's a multi-millionaire now, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I I think the fact that you invented that means even if you got nothing from it, you probably could have made a life out of it. Well, the rights he all the rights eventually got bought out, and he went into business with the guy that bought the rights, and uh, he went to move to America and became like a multimillionaire, and they, yeah. they still own some of the brand now. Um, cool. But yeah, there were two versions. The Japanese version had different music. And it's quite rare but if you get hold of the Japanese version. <laughs> um, it's iconic. 
I know, I know. I, I mean, I just sang it. I hope we don't get um, you know told off on YouTube for singing that. But uh, you I did think, an I think amazing. Music, I think an amazing music copy all right. You can record that <laughs> and put it over the game. I, you'd be surprised. There are people on YouTube. I think they have been reported for for quite good copies, but generally, I think singing's okay. Yeah. Uh, so, what was your top three provisional arcades then? Before oh, we arcades. The well, I, I think definitely the. I think alternate between four player multiplayer, the Simpsons Fighter, oh, or the. The yeah. turtles one, I, yeah, they're they're both basically the same game, yeah, just different, yeah, the same cabinet, the same four controls, um, whatnot, um, and then there's the the ones that give me uh, the best memories probably are, uh, yeah, the Daytona USA. I still remember I worked at a bowling alley that had a six. Uh, cut, like unit connection, yeah. and so whenever it was shut, the the manager would put on a on, you know, on free play, and we'd all sit there and race each other. And, and I got I got very good at that, but I still remember there was one guy who was just absolutely astounding at it, and he'd also get the yeah the seven 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 on the on the the yeah the one arm bandit thing, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So Daytona USA, and and then again coming back to the arcades that I used to go back to in the eighties and nineties. Um, either hard driving. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, hard driving or Mortal Kombat. Yeah, the Mortal Kombat, and and then again that could be alternated for, with Street Fighter Two. And I still remember when Street Fighter Two, and you could play that in the arcades. Um, there are other ones that are, you know bring back good memories. Uh, lots of shoot 'em ups, like nineteen forty two. Um, there was a there was a, a space one at a at a leisure centre that I used to go to where Relaxing. there were uh, no, it was it was sort of that kind of a bit more up to date than that. Um, I say a bit more up to date, still the nineteen eighties, <laughs> but it was. Each, there was a bullet per button press. So what we used to do was have one person controlling where it was, and the other person just sitting there furiously, you know, <laughs> uh, pressing mm. as hard as you. Uh, and so that's how we got all the high scores. And and yeah, so we'd have yeah, you'd have twenty people all crowded around this machine watching you play, yeah. kind of thing. And that's that's you don't get that nowadays, which is a shame, really, because it mm. was it was a a great social thing. I remember watching my my sons about four years ago completing Simpsons Arcade at home, emulated. And yeah. They both sat there for an hour and completed the game. Um, nice. I think they used like two continues, and that was it. And I was like, well, I couldn't complete this one. Uh, the you know, that's pretty good going. That is, yeah. yeah. I've been trying to convince the misses to let me get them a arcade. Uh, arca was it, was Evercade. Um, Evercade. No, what's that new one that does the arcade cabinets? The uh, arcade one up, is it? Oh, there's there's various ones. I saw yeah. a thing in the news this week. Um, they're, they're called Quarter Arcade or something. Have made mm. um, a perfect quarter size replica of Space Invaders, and they've gifted one to the creator of Space Invaders. Oh, wow. um, so there's a video of the creator of Space Invaders playing this quarter size one. Mm. And, and it's 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 quite endearing, really, of this pro probably man in his seventies playing the Space Invaders. But the concentration on his face mm. is that he's obviously still, he, even in his possibly seventies, I don't know, still yeah. taking it really seriously. Like, yeah, I've got to take it. Really well, arcade seriously. one out and do uh, slightly smaller scale arcade replicas, but they also do this box you can sit the arcade machine in and it becomes a full size arcade. You get a bar store that you can buy as well. And they do everything from Street Fighter to Mortal Kombat, Simpsons. They do the four player turtles and it has like four or five different games on it. Um, I've been trying to convince the missus so then I can put um, an, an emulated, you know, Raspberry Pi in there and. Yeah, I'd, I'd love one of these coffee, uh, glass coffee tables that has um, the 
joysticks on either side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we have a local to us, we have a microbrewery uh, pub um, that has one of those in it um, mm. that I've played on a few times, and I'd, so, yeah, I'd love one of those, whether it's got Galaxian on, or Space Invaders on it or or Pongo. I don't really care, but if, if it had, yeah, if it had something like Street Fighter 2 on it, oh, yeah um we should go to that pub <laughs> yes oh definitely definitely yeah. um yeah so um oh god but there's so many so many arcades that we could chat about i mean afterburner oh, yeah. the the afterburner that uh not um that had the, oh, the moving cabinet the, the, the 360 cabinet yeah wow i mean and and also the the modern day version of that was the the f0 what a cabinet that went upside down f0 and it went upside down yeah, yeah. wow you can actually play that version on the gamecube it's hidden within the gamecube game version okay oh um, i think oh yes i heard about that it was yeah. one of these things that was discovered about six years later or something that's it yeah but the arcade one i think it used to go upside down and round and round and very oh, similar cool. to afterburner so yeah fantastic oh excellent well <sighs> I think Jeez. that's it. I, Joe, we, I was going to say, we, we could keep talking, but we, we'd end up just using up every single subject we've got. Um, <laughs> Let's do arcades. Queued, queued up. I was going to say, we'll, we'll do arcades and then we'll do something else. And we'll just have nothing left to talk about in the next. But this is how much I don't, yeah, how much I think me and you both love gaming. Yeah. And we should mention as well, um, Martin had some technical issues this week and does hope to be back again um next uh, next episode um yeah. so yeah um i think so that's 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 about it so yeah so like and subscribe on youtube um and and yeah and down oh sorry down that side yeah look i've put a little picture on there i've worked out how to do that which is literally just add image that's it so you, you can't see this uh, where you are, Tom, but down there, there is a picture saying the gaming podcast. So you never know by next time, there might be something down the whole bottom. Um, we'll see if I have time to actually do that kind of stuff. But, uh, but <laughs> um, so yeah, look at me getting all technical. That's and, it. Um, that's not, we know we have live call ins. There'll be any, there'll be people that use obs like absolutely. <laughs> laughing their socks off right now going oh my god has he just found out he could do that yes yes i have (laughs) Um, and on that note and on that note like and subscribe um leave us a review anything like that and i will see you next time tom yes and yeah goodbye see you soon listening bye